welcome back to my channel i'm super excited today because number one i finally eat 1000 subscribers wow that is so amazing because it's been a long time coming i started this youtube video about two years ago when i started my business and it's quite surprising that you know um within the last um three months i've been you know posting not so consistently but consistently enough um you know i have been seeing results i've been seeing the love from you all so i just wanted to say a massive thank you all to all of you 1000 wonderful people that have been su supporting my content that have been liking that i've been sharing my family my friends you all are the best thank you all so so much in this video today i will be showing you how i created this beautiful eucalyptus colored balloon decor for a baby shower that i um styled less than two weeks ago actually uh, so you can even see how super excited i am because i've actually never posted um, two weeks after an event before it's usually four five or six weeks um, if I'm not busy um, but yeah I'm just super grateful to you all and so why I am posting this so quickly um, there's been such a huge turnaround anyways um, I'm using my very um, popular round acrylic circular backdrop this backdrop really really um, boosted my events decor business um it was really popular when i first um purchased it i think i would have used it over 50 times since i started the business so yes it's a super awesome um prop that um i would always always call upon um, and i think my clients always um, request this particular one really so i don't think i have more choice in that area so here I'm just blowing up my balloons and for this um, setup, I actually did not use any custom color and it turned out super beautiful. Um, so the brand that I used um, or the brands that I used were um, Callison Eucalyptus Green, um, Sympatex White and Qualitex Chrome Gold. And as usual, I will blow up my balloon um, make them round shape by releasing here and pressing it against the, my 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 um, skin or against any hard surface, um, just to give it that round shape. And then I will make clusters of either four, five, six, or eight um, in various colors, um, depending on whether I was color blocking or not. Um, this clusters is what I would then use um, to build my garland. Um, when I first started the business, I would usually pre-build my garland before attaching it to the backdrop. But as I became more experienced, I felt that this process of just going ahead and attaching my clusters directly to my backdrop works equally well, depending on you know the kind of look I was going for. But for this particular backdrop, I have been using this technique like forever and it's been super quick, easy for me to do. So yes, I'm using the color blocking technique this time around again. Um, I think that's probably my favorite technique to use in terms of color combinations. Um, so yes, I'm starting with the eucalyptus green and then I go in with the white, the clusters of white. Again, clusters of eight, I believe I used in that particular cluster there. Um, I then attach um, these clusters to the um, backdrop using the self-adhesive hook that I spoke about in my last video. Um, sometimes I feel like I do need extra bit of clusters so I would usually have um, clusters of two just lying around so I would attach it to which whichever clusters that I
If you have never seen me make clusters before, here is where I am doing so. Um, so in those chrome gold colors, I am making clusters of about eight or 10, I think. Um, but yes, that is how I make my clusters of balloon that I then attach to my backdrop. I mean, 260 cues have got to be the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> yes, I, I really do mean it. 260 cues are amazing in attaching balloon, balloons together, especially when making garlands. They are super flexible. I cannot stress it enough. If you're still using fishing line, I guess, well, I guess that's your preference, but I, I just cannot bear the sight of fishing, fishing wires or fishing lines or whatever it's called. It hurts my fingers. Please let me know how you've been finding fishing wires, fishing whatever, um, down in my comment box <laughs> because I just cannot cope with them. There are times when where they are super useful, and I do still have them in my um, balloon kit, in my um, uh, what's it called, um, what tool kit. I still have them around. For example, if I wanted to attach a name sign, and I don't want um, whatever. Um, string that i'm using to be visible i would definitely opt in for a fishing wire but if i was making a garland 260q is the best let me know what you think just look back at your previous event and think what could I have done better in this situ situation and then just make that change. So after making my foundation garland, I call it my foundation garland because it's the garland that I start with before filling it out. So after making that foundation garland, I then, you know, step back, have a look, see where I still need to add a bit more to make it either fuller to improve the shape of the garland. And that is what I'm doing right here. Um, I'm just blowing up a few more balloons 
um, and adding them to wherever I feel still requires um, some additional input. So um, you, it's quite obvious that right up the top there would require some additional garland because number one, there is clearly um, the self adhesive oak thin showing. And um, as we go along, you see how I feel that out and block that out so it's not visible um, when clients are taking pictures. So yes, that is literally what I do. I walk my way from the top to the bottom and then step back, have a look, see where I need to put a bit more and then I do just that. So here I am just adding my extra large balloon. Um, it's called the, I think this one is the 24 inch balloon. Uh, this just has a special way of making your balloon garland look wow. So it adds a bit more dimension and more organic feel to your balloon structure. Um, I don't always use them um, depending on the client's budget. Um, but for this particular look, it's brought out the beauty of the whole setup.
So here I'm just attaching um, my clusters of threes and twos um, five inch balloons um, to fill out um, spaces and make it more organic looking. Um, I seem to have lost the video of where I was doing the top all the way down but um, I realized too late. <laughs> Here I'm just laying down the jute carpet that I found off Amazon. Um, it looks amazing. Um, it smells awful, but it looks amazing. Um, but yeah, it had a kind of luxurious look to the whole setup. And I'm adding my plants. And finally, I'm adding my ready-made Pampas um, palm leaves arrangement. Um, if you have not seen the video on how to make this yourself, you're definitely missing out. So please do look at all of my other videos and you will see how to create this for yourself. I wasn't particularly feeling the um, teddy bear sitting on the floor so I decided to make a balloon seat for the teddy bear um, <laughs> because the teddy bear is quite special so yes that is what I'm doing This will be the first time I'm actually using one of these baby boxes that you fill with balloons and interestingly I made some <laughs> silly errors um, while sticking up my double-sided um, tape if you have um, used this before, let me know how you found them. I think I prefer the um, wooden one or the acrylic ones to this paper one. I find them a bit flimsy, um, but unfortunately that is what the um, client's budget allows for. So that is what I used for this particular decor. Um, but yes, if you would like to know how to put together one of these baby boxes, um, kindly let me know and I'll make a separate video showing you exactly how I did so. Um. decor i hope you love it and i hope you have learned one or two things um if you have please do let me know in the comment box below if there is anything that you feel i should have done in this particular decor that you did not observe kindly also let me know um if there's any particular um video that you would like to see also please do let me know um i can always you know work on that um i hope that you do um subscribe and like if you haven't already done so um thank you all once again um and i hope to see you soon in my next video